Right. All right, I think we've built up the suspense long enough. It's time to announce the worst car of the millennium. Oh. I can hardly wait. Now, we should mention that we invited our listeners and and readers of our newspaper column, anyone else in the in the world, to nominate cars. Then we chose the finalists and asked the driving car owning public to vote. And more than twenty five thousand people voted. Wait, wait, wait. two hundred and fifty thousand, I think Tom Licks told me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I think so. Most of them just once, as far as we could determine. And here are their decisions. And we'll start with the number 10 car yeah. and work our way up. So this is the 10th worst car of the millennium. Okay. Number 10, and there was some, a lot of controversy about this, but it got a lot of votes, was the VW bus. <laughs> I, I mean, lo lots of people... Jimmy Buffett included said we were crazy <laughs> to think that the, the VW, but we didn't vote. I mean, the people have spoken. Yeah, and, and just to give you some idea, there were some comments that people sent in when they voted. Things like, it was the flower stickers that held the thing together. <laughs> and the bus had no heat, blew over in the wind, and used the driver's legs as the first line of defense in an accident. <laughs> All right, number nine is the Renault Dauphine. I vote for that one wholeheartedly, man. <laughs> <laughs> that had to be the biggest piece of crap ever made in America. I can't say that I ever drove one, but I did work on one once. <laughs> once. <laughs> yeah. Here's a comment. A side impact by a bicycle totaled my Dauphine after <laughs> one year. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> number eight, the Cadillac Cimarron. Ah, yes. This was, mm. this was one of my favorites. Of my when we favorite. traded it in, my wife was upset because we didn't keep it long enough for her to buy a gun and <laughs> shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, the Dodge Aspen or the Plymouth Volari, the same car. Owning a Volari was total ego death. The theme song, the vinyl Landau roof, the inability to pass another car on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> another Renault, double, double mention here. Number six, the Renault Le Car. Like any French restaurant in America, it was overpriced, noisy, moody, and would put you in mortal danger if you had an accident with anything larger than a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> number five, the worst car of the millennium, number five, the Chevrolet Chevette. Yeah, the Chevy Chevette. That was junk. That, yeah. That, that's up there. That's Here's an, an apt comment. An engine surrounded by four pieces of sheetrock. <laughs> <laughs> number four. The AMC Gremlin. Do you sense the suspense building? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, do you, I mean when, when you get the you stuff like this, I mean, we go from the VW bus to Dauphine, the Cimarron, the Plymouth Volare, the Renault Le Car, the Chevy Chevette, the AMC Gremlin. You can see well, that it's getting better and better. And here's a voter's comment about the, uh, the Gremlin. The car had all the quality and safety of a cheap garden tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. The Ford Pinto. Uh, this person wrote, Dad had a baby poop oh, orange just... Pinto the year that car thieves hit our street. Although a dozen cars were stolen in one night, ours was there the next morning <laughs> on a strangely empty block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember the great Pinto bumper sticker? Hit me and we blow up together. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Number the two. The second worst car of the millennium. The Chevy Vega. As near as I could tell, the car was built from compressed rust. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here it is, folks. Are we ready? According to the voters at the cars.com car talk section of the website and people who wrote to us with snail mail, the worst car of the millennium. Drum roll, please. The Yugo! <laughs> I'll, I'll read a few comments from some of our voters. I once test drove a Yugo during which the radio fell out. The gear shift knob came off in my hand and I saw daylight through the strip around the windshield. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> At least it had heated rear windows so your hands would stay warm while you pushed. <laughs> I mean, the, boy, this is this is. We uh, should mention that the Yugo got a third of the total vote of those twenty-five thousand, not two hundred and fifty thousand. Well, well, that tends to cast a pretty good light on the other cars. I mean, they just barely made it. They just barely I mean, made it. Right. The Yugo could have gotten a hundred percent of the votes. Could have been ranked in all ten spots. <laughs> right.